Shalom Holy Blossom. You may recall my sermon from Kol Nidre when I spoke about the eight months of demonstrations, Israelis being critical of leadership from the top. What we have seen since October 7th, since the early hours of October 7th until this very day, is extraordinary leadership coming from the bottom up, a grassroots uh, initiative of the best of what humanity can be. And I wanna call attention to it so we can take inspiration from it and follow their example. There have been beautiful and brave acts of kindness, uh, courage and, and creativity is what we see coming from Israelis now. This week's Torah portion is Lech Lecha, go forth and be a blessing, God says to Avram. Go forth, advance, and be a blessing. So how can we, each one of us, be a blessing under these most trying circumstances? Two weeks ago, I sent you um, a video message like this with 12 things that you can do. You're invited to return to it and uh, maybe view it for the first time or be reminded of what was uh, suggested in those early days. And I wanna build on it now. I wanna add to it um, so that you can find your way forward, that you can navigate these most challenging days. I wanna lift up a few from that original 12, just briefly to say, give again. I know you've been generous. Do it again for whatever worthy cause at this moment is, is calling your name. Lift up that mitzvah and give not until it hurts, but give until it feels really good. I want to reiterate how important it is to reach out to your dear ones in Israel regularly, often, simply. Um, that is uh, so critical now to help lift up their spirits and reinforce um, their sense of being a part of something larger because Israelis are feeling quite lonely now. I want to reiterate how important it is to write to our members of parliament, um, elected leadership. You can write to thank them when they say the right things. You can uh, write to them to express your disappointment when, in your opinion, they say the wrong things. Um, and you can certainly write to them and demand um, that they put all of their weight, all of their energy uh, behind bringing the hostages home. And also I want to lift up the original recommendation that you stay informed. Um, and you'll see on Holy Blossom's website, uh, there are a number of articles and podcasts and webinars that are considered to be the greatest hits now. We have a team of readers, Holy Blossom members, who volunteered to read broadly and pick the gems to share with you. So here are some new things that we can do exactly now, things that were not on the original list of 12. One is uh, show up for Shabbat. You may have heard that slogan. Uh, we used it five years ago in the aftermath of the Tree of Life shooting in Pittsburgh, and people came in great numbers. I wanna encourage you to show up for Shabbat, take comfort in being together, draw strength from one another, draw strength from our prayers, it's uh, so important that we can reinforce for one another who we are, what we stand for, and what we will not stand for. Two, reach out to our Shin Shinim. I know you remember them. They are the extraordinary young leaders who came to be with us, um, either two or, or one each year, um, to train up our kids in a Zionist spirit. And they are now doing the most extraordinary things in Israel, every one of them. Uh, some are parents now with their own children. And the relationships that they established when they were with us are still very important to them. And when some of them are on the front lines now, just a, a brief message can really lift their spirits and give them strength to carry on. So you can find uh, a link where you can send a video message or um, a written comment that will go directly to our Shinshinim alumni. 
Third, if you are a social worker, a therapist, a retired psychologist or psychiatrist, the UJA is calling for your help now. There are many, many Torontonians who need a good ear. So even if you're retired, um, you can be that good ear. And um, I encourage you to go to the UJA website and offer your time. It could be a little bit of time. It could be significant time if you have it. But um, your people need you now. Thank you for that in advance. Four, um, and this is for the parents and grandparents. I want to say, and this is as, as a parent myself, um, I recognize that we give our kids dual messages. And so I encourage you to know your children and grandchildren and know what is the best proportion for these dual messages. Some need to hear the first one more. Some need to hear the second one more. The first message is be safe, be smart, be careful. The second message is be strong, be informed, be influential, make a difference. This is a moment for our children and our teenagers, our university students, to deepen their own Jewish identities and to be able to articulate what it means to be a part of a people. So once again, know your children and know which message they need to hear um, in greater proportion. But I believe every one of them deserves to hear both of those messages now. Number five, um, we have an extraordinary opportunity coming up next Wednesday evening and I want everyone to come. You may or may not yet know of an Israeli trend called Kululam. I'm a huge fan. Google it and you'll, you'll see why. And Kululam is coming to every community, every Jewish community and other non-Jewish communities as well. Anyone who wants to participate to sing a song to call attention to the hostage crisis, to bring the more than 200 hostages home from Gaza. And so Wednesday night, we're gonna have a chance here at Holy Blossom Temple, led by Cantor Rosen, um, to invite local Israelis who have a home here in Toronto to come and sing with us. And we're gonna, in, in just an hour, we're gonna learn the song with harmonies and so on and you don't need a great voice and you don't need to be a musician just come and we'll then at eight o'clock we'll record and we'll send that in and it will be sliced into um, the beautiful compilation that is happening globally now so that's a kululam initiative come be a part of it on that note um, as we turn our attention to local israelis and the number of local israelis are growing by the way um, because people are, are coming to join our community here day by day. And soon we'll be able to uh, call attention to m many ways that we can support them, practical ways that we can support them. But one thing I'd like to call attention to now is an initiative we have established where Holy Blossom members can become a Savta or a Saba for an Israeli family without extended family here. So picture, um, it could be that the father of the family has remained in Israel while the mother and children are here. If you have a little bit of time to give a little bit of love and attention to Israelis who are here who need some practical support like babysitting so that the moms can uh, go grocery shopping or just visit with a friend or go for a walk for just to clear her head. Um, if you have a little time for that kind of love and support, please uh, be in touch with Rabbi Barishel and we'll, she'll help to make matches between you and uh, a local Isra Israeli family. And finally, and this brings us to, um, oh no, two more. One is about building bridges, building bridges of understanding. And here I am asking for you to use every relationship you have to bring greater understanding to non-Jewish members of our community. Uh, they could be neighbors, they could be colleagues, they could be um, family members. 
anything you can do to help people understand what is really happening, what are the facts of the story, and what these facts mean for you. I think personalizing it is really important now. November 20th, we have one opportunity to be hosted by two churches in our neighborhood. And again, we're going to want you to show up in big numbers um, so that we can build personal relationships and bridges between us and the Christian local community here in Toronto. Um, it will feel good to be welcomed into those churches, to feel supported and, and heard by them. And finally, um, this gets to the level of the symbolic. You may have heard about the Blue Ribbon Campaign. So here I have um, a simple blue ribbon to call attention to the hostage crisis. And we have these ribbons available for you now here at Holy Blossom. You can pick them up at any time when you're here. We also have arranged for um, really beautiful blue uh, plastic ribbons that can be wrapped around a, a tree. Um, those are also a public way of calling attention to the hostage crisis, and we have those available for you here at Holy Blossom. You can pick them up at any time as well. And this is where I'll conclude. I did tie a ribbon around a young tree that we have here at Holy Blossom. We call it the Tree of Life. We planted it five years ago in memory of Joyce Feinberg. You may recall that Joyce grew up here at Holy Blossom. She was educated here. She was married here. And then she moved to Pittsburgh and made uh, she made Pittsburgh her home. She made Tree of Life her congregation. And she was among the 11 who were murdered uh, while praying uh, just five years ago. It's hard to believe. And so we planted that tree then with many of Joyce's cousins who are part of our congregation. And uh, they'll come this Shabbat to say Kaddish for her again. And so I thought how fitting it is to tie one of these blue ribbons around Joyce's tree of life here at Holy Blossom. It is part of the same arc of Jewish history. It is part of the same story. And we need to know it, we need to teach it, and we need to do our best to understand it. It is a, a moment to ask ourselves, what does it mean to live as a Jew? Am Yisrael Chai can not only be a slogan. What does it mean to see the Jewish people live, the people of Israel living and thriving? We have every opportunity to do just that here in Toronto. We are so fortunate to be part of this strong community. And I'm so proud of how everyone is rising to the occasion. I know it's hard. Believe me, I, I know. I'm feeling it too. But this is a time of blessing we could leverage every opportunity, we could pull up every measure of strength, and we can support everyone, uh, support one another with every measure of comfort that we have. So I wish you a Shabbat Shalom. In some ways it's getting harder, in some ways it's getting clearer. Let this Shabbat be another source of comfort and strength for each of us. Shalom al Yisrael.